Our Model 650 door is the most widely installed door in self-storage facilities, small businesses, movable additional storage structures, and outbuilding applications. Installing and maintaining the Model 650 door is an easy process. By following these instructions in this video along with the installation guide that came with your door, you'll have a low-maintenance, top-of-the-line door installed in no time. In fact, our doors can be installed in as little as 3 minutes. You will need the following items to install the Series 650. A screw gun or drill, a hammer, a tape measure, a utility knife, a 7 16 hex head nut driver or ratchet, a 3 8 hex head nut driver, an optional winding bar, safety glasses, and safety gloves. Throughout the video you will see warnings and cautions. Please pay attention to them as they have been included for your safety and the safety of others. Prior to installing a door, you will want to go over some preliminary steps to ensure a smooth installation. Also, you'll want to check to see that the floor is level and clean, to give yourself a neat working area and prevent damage to the curtain. Check the wall opening width and height and verify these measurements against the size of the door to be installed. Verify that your jams are flush and plumb and that there is adequate side clearance for the opening and at the sides of the header. If the header is already present, make sure that the header is level. Once you've completed the preparation steps, you'll need to bring the curtain over to the working area. For larger door sizes like this one, we recommend that two people carry the door in and lay it into position. Be sure to use the proper lifting equipment and correct lifting procedures to avoid damage or injury. To be efficient, you will place the door curtain as far out from the opening as the opening is tall. So if the opening is 7 feet tall, the door is placed approximately 7 feet away from the opening, with the bottom bar against the floor facing towards the opening. Now as you lay the guides in place, they line right up with the jams and the curtain. Align the top end of the guide with the bracket. Depending on the size of your door, you will have a bracket with locking tabs or bolt-on brackets. For brackets with locking tabs, insert the bracket tabs into the guide slots. Striking the bracket with a hammer will ensure full engagement of the tabs into the guides. Check the tabs here to be sure the bracket is locked into place. This will need to be done for both the left and right sides. For bolt-on brackets, align the guide hole and the bracket hole. Insert a 1 quarter inch by 1 half inch carriage bolt through the guide and bracket, then screw on two whiz nuts per bracket. This will need to be done for both the left and right sides. Properly lifting this door into place will require two people, as the guides are not designed to support the curtain weight during a one-man installation. Attempting to install a large door with only one installer can result in serious injury and or damage to the door. As you carefully begin to lift the door, allow the guides to come to a rest firmly at the bottom of the jams. This makes for a nice pivot point by which to complete the lifting process. You'll first need to align the left guide flush to the left jam. This is important so the latch is properly located adjacent to the jam. Secure the guide in the bracket to the surface with the appropriate fastener, a lag screw for wood jams, tech screws for steel jams, or masonry anchors for masonry or concrete jams. Please note, welding of the guides to the jam is not recommended. Furthermore, two fasteners are required per bracket to ensure that the door is properly and safely attached to the jam. Now that the left guide is in place, you'll need to calculate where to secure the right guide. To do this, measure your curtain size. It should be 3 and 1 half inches wider than the clear opening size. Make note of this dimension. The outside edge of the right guide needs to be 3 quarters to 1 inches wider than the door curtain. If the door curtain measures 8 feet 3 inches, then the outside guide measurement should be 8 feet 3 and 3 quarter inches to 8 feet 4 inches from the outside edge of the left guide. Secure the right guide and bracket in the same manner as the left, checking the outside guide measurement a second time before securing the guide at the bottom. To initialize the spring tension, rotate the door two revolutions in the direction that would send the bottom bar down through the guides. Be careful to maintain a firm grip on the door during this process. Again, while firmly holding the door at the bottom bar, cut the tape and the plastic wrap that holds the door in a coil. Pay special attention to not scratch the paint surface of the door or to slice through the bottom bar bulb astragal. Direct the bottom bar into the guides and bring the door into a lowered or closed position. While carefully holding the door in a down position, place the door stop through the slots located at the top of the guide near the bell entry. Secure the door stop in place using one of the quarter inch hex head thread cutting screws. Repeat this process to secure the other door stop on the other side. 
Next, install stop clips at each end on the inside of the bottom bar, using the provided carriage bolt and nut. Install the handles on the outside of the bottom bar using the quarter inch by one half inch carriage bolts provided. Secure the rope through the two holes located at the center of the horizontal leg of the bottom bar angle using a double knot as demonstrated. For safety purposes, we recommend that you tie an additional knot in the center of the rope loop. Now, check the door operation. Raise and lower the door to test the door balance. If the door is easy to close but hard to open, it's considered cold and you'll need to add additional spring tension. If the door is hard to close but easy to open, it's considered hot and you'll need to remove the excess spring tension. For a cold door that needs additional tension, offset the balance of the door by positioning the bottom bar 10 inches below the opening header. Carefully, insert the winding bar or 1 half inch diameter rod into the ratchet tension device located on the left bracket. Slowly rotate the tension device in a clockwise direction until the door begins to open and the ratchet clicks and locks into the next position. For a door that is hot, Place the curtain in a fully open position. Insert the winding bar into the tensioner and apply a slight amount of pressure so that you can carefully lift the ratchet pawl arm. Then, while rotating the tension device in a counterclockwise direction, carefully release the pawl arm to allow it to lock into the next available groove. Now, recheck the balance of the door. Repeat these steps as needed to achieve the desired operation. Finally, with the door in the down position, gently step on the round lift handle and push the slide latch into the guide slot. You have now successfully completed a quality installation of a Janus Model 650 roll-up door. By following these steps properly, you will have the best operating door in the industry.